Hi, it's my favorite time of day, the time of day when I get to read a good book to you. Today we're going to read My Fourth of July by Jerry Spinelli and Larry Day. Jerry Spinelli writes a lot of good books. I know my son used to love reading his books when he was little. And this is about the Fourth of July. Do you celebrate the Fourth of July where you live? Also called Independence Day. It's a summertime holiday that we celebrate in the United States. Noise. I wake up. I rush to the front window. Parade, drums, cymbals, pinwheels, flags, tricycles. It's the best day of all, the 4th of July. I like the illustrations. They have a lot of details in them. I join the parade. Grown-ups laugh and wave and point. I'm still in my pajamas. When I get back, Dad is fetching the wagon. Hooray, he's home all day. Mama's in the kitchen getting the picnic ready. The pie is in the oven. What kind, I ask her. You'll see, she says. She always says, you'll see. The pie is always cherry crumb. Time to do my job, I ask. Mama hands me a shaker. Get to work, she says. I get to add the final touch, a sprinkle of paprika on the deviled eggs. Everything goes into the wagon. Hot dogs, hot dog rolls, mustard, chopped onions, relish, pickles. I look at the clock. I call to everybody, hurry. I'm in charge of hurrying. There are only 25 picnic tables at the park. We must not be late. The wagon is filling up. Peanut butter filled celery boats, potato salad, napkins, tablecloth, red, white, and blue cupcakes. In goes the surprise in a white box. There's always a surprise. What is it, I ask? I always ask. You'll see, Mama always says. Paper cups, plastic forks, are we ready? Wait, I shout, don't forget the pie. I'm in charge of not forgetting. Finally, out the door. Mama hands me a banana. I'm so excited, I forgot to eat breakfast. Down the street to the railroad tracks. Look, black cloud, thunder. Oh no, storm coming. Yahoo, it's a train rumble, rumbling round the bend. Flags flutter from the flanks of the great engine. We wave at the engineer. Down the path by the creek to the park. Hurry, hurry. I grab the pickle jar and run ahead. I plunk it on an empty table. It's ours. I can't wait. I beg for the surprise. Mama sighs. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I tear open the white box. Chocolate covered strawberries. Big as plums. Mom and Dad watch me. They can't stand it. They gobble their surprises too. For this one best day, the park is my backyard. Face painting. I'm a raccoon. Three-legged sack race. My friend Henry and I come in last. We're laughing too hard to care. Back to the table, food, eat. We cook our hot dogs on the grill in the gazebo. We wait our turn. I like mine with black stripes. Talent show at the band show. There's my neighbor, Sally. She sings a song called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I'm Bogglepuss. Sally, my next door neighbor, Sally, sings like an angel. Concert. At the gazebo, the Tootletown 10 plays zippy music. Little kids rush the stage of the gazebo to dance. Parents too. Here come mom and dad. Back at the band shell, the biggest flag I've ever seen is unrolling behind the stage. We stand for the Star Spangled Banner. The whole park is silent and still. Back to the picnic table. Eat, eat. Noseball race, I win. Run to the zoo, quack at the ducks. The goat makes me laugh. Monkey fingers reaching. More food. I'm becoming a potato pickle hot dog cupcake pie. Slow down, Mama says, but she doesn't mean it. She's smiling. The shadows are getting long. The sun is in the trees. The best part of the best day is coming. Fireworks. I eat the last deviled egg. We toss the trash, give away the pickles. All that's left for the wagon is the tablecloth. Hurry, I say. I'm in charge of getting a good place. 
we find one on the outfield slopes of the baseball field. Soon we're surrounded. I think everybody in town is here. 5,000 people, Dad says. Shadows creep across the field, all the way to me. Oh, the minutes crawl as I slide back in my wagon. It's the longest wait there ever is. A thump in the dark, sudden umbrella of lights, 5,000 faces aglow, fireworks. My eyes cannot hold the wonders I see. My heart is cheering. A cannon booming volley. I hold my ears. I scream with joy and it's over. Isn't that a beautiful picture? So colorful. Car lights flashing, smoke drifting from the baseball field. It smells like burnt toast. And once again, I feel something I haven't felt since the 3rd of July. I feel sleepy. The tablecloth becomes a pillow. Into the wagon I go, my own little train with dad as engineer. Through the park, across the creek, down the path. I see nothing but stars. There are only the stars and my wagon and me. I am overfilled in every way. I have seen too much, run too long, been too happy. I close my eyes. I am in charge of sleeping. And that's the end. Do you see that this book has a bleeding cover? That means the picture is one big picture on the front and back cover. All right, I hope you liked this book. If you did, check out the other holiday books on this channel. And I will see you next time. Bye, Trey.